G Spotlight TV show. Yes, your host, Bro G, is clapping up. Yeah. Yes, yes. Also, we have an amazing guest here on my right side. Get it right? Yeah. <laughs> um, Marvin, right? Marvin? Yes. Marvin from Views from the Friend Zone. Get it right? Yes. yes. Okay, radio yes. show. Just add in there. So, yes. yes, yes. Hello, everybody. We got Mookie in the background. What's up, Mookie? <laughs> you, he's a part, he's our live audience. You can clap as well, your mind. Shout out to That's Mookie. Love, baby. Yes, yes. Uh, my amazing management, Jay Empire Media. He's doing a lot right now, so forgive us and running around and everything. Okay. But again, thank you guys for watching right now. We're live. We're live right now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Mookie's yes. like, I'm already here, baby. <laughs> so, guys, you can call in. The number is 212-757. What's up, baby? Hey, how you doing? Uh, 253. So, you guys can call in right now if you have any questions, you want to see that in the comments of the show or for our lovely guests here. So, um, are we start? Are you ready? Yes. All yes. right, baby. Okay, so I got some few questions for you. Sure. All right, awesome. Okay, first one, of course, is um, I think you're two, or what, just follow the lead, I guess. Yeah. All right, number one, right here. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so tell the viewers at home watching a bit about yourself. Okay. Well, it's your boy, Real Talk Mall from View from the Friend Zone podcast. We go live on Facebook every Sunday at 5 p.m. So it's facebook.com slash View from the Friend Zone. We're podcasts about, you know, everyday things, relationships, what's going on in the media. But we just like to have conversations that are, like, down the earth. Yes. And, like, you know, the things that you want to talk about, sometimes you don't have a platform or a place to talk about certain things. Or you want to, is it just me that thinks that way? No. We have those conversations. This, I love that. Because I know I was on a show not so long ago, which yes. I'm honored, by the way. Yes. 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 And, um, it was I, a great guest. Oh, thank you. You better and stop she it. she tore it down with the vocals. Here we go. I always tell people, like, you know, it's it's tough to put a singer on the spot, right? With no, no tea, nothing. Mm. And she, she tore it down. Oh, well, I'm honored. Thank you. Yes, thank yes. you. No, no, not a problem. And real quickly before we get to the next question, um, I, I you guys talked about really heavy topics, which is really good stuff, and yeah. stuff that people don't really want to talk about. Yeah. And I appreciate you guys genuinely because of the fact that you put in your heart and your soul to these questions, yes. and you give it 110%, yes. and, and you want people's honest feedback. That. Honest You're feedback, welcome, right? Baby. You know, you got to have these certain conversations, right? Because especially today in today's society, everybody's sensitive. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be politically correct. Correct. Everybody's afraid to speak their mind with repercussions. I mean, we don't, you know, go too deep into like people's personal lives, but we, we give you a platform to have that discussion, talk about what's going on, talk about relationships, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone paints relationships as this easy thing, mm. or, or there's, there's white and black, but there's also that gray area. So mm -hmm. I feel like we live in that gray area, you know? That's right. He, he, book is like right on, man. Yeah, so <laughs> so we, we, we like to, you know, discuss things, let you, let you get it off your chest. Sometimes it's humor. Sometimes it gets a little heated. But it's at the end of the day, it's all about having a good time, good conversation. Exactly. Um, the next question, too, is um, who or what inspired you to do who you're doing? What are you doing today as a radio personality? You do more, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. But yeah. who, who or what inspired you? Well, um, I just felt like, you know, as the older you get, the more platforms as far as being an adult there is right because a lot of things either geared towards being really young mm -hmm. or being the get off of my lawn kind of thing so i wanted like you know mid-age mid people like what you're going through at work relationship how yeah. it is to date in your 30s mm. I'm, I'm you know <laughs> i'm 36 i'll be 37 next saturday congratulations so, early belated birthday by the yes, way thank you leo season but um so you know i just you know, I started a podcast with another group of guys, and mm -hmm. you know, we w that show was a little more controversial. And then, you know, I kind of went separate ways. But I wanted to leave room to like, you know, have adult conversation, yeah, have, have fun, but to be serious as well. That's cool. Okay, caller. Hey, what's up? What's your name, You're baby? Oh. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hey, this is Mookie. What's up? Oh, Mookie, what's I just saw you. <laughs> <laughs> we got. Oh shoot! It blessed oh, my oh, life. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I'm on live right now. Oh, okay. Um, listen, I want to uh, address some few things about the, um, the society. Go right ahead. Go ahead. So, um, listen, um, is, is my brother still right there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so um, let me um, just put, put some topics there. Is that all right with y'all guys? Go sure. Ahead. We, we welcome it. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so listen, um, we need to focus on the, the primary of society world today because mm -hmm. everybody ain't going to speak their truth self and everybody has to tell what they feel inside their heart 
Yeah. Because too many people are afraid to tell the truth, not exactly to be socializing uncomfortably. You have to feel aware of what's going on with your surroundings at all times. So, so just be sure, be aware of something that's not in, in, in intensity. So you just got to feel more expressive, feel more expressive to yourself, more um, secure of your, 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 of your surroundings at all times. And not too many people are afraid to tell the truth, not when you want to tell the truth. Yeah. So you yeah. just got to give all of your heart to say how you feel and then things like that. Yeah. So, Aww. and generally, people need to stop judging other people because too many people are starting to, like, criticize and be judgmental with themselves. I'm like, I don't judge or criticize anything. Yeah. But... We just got to be more careful what's out there and what's outside and what's out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is so true. And, and, and oh. I, I, you know, to kind of piggyback on what uh, Mookie. Mookie was Mookie. saying, sorry. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I think so many times we let society keep our voice silent mm -hmm. and we have to find ways to have our voice to be able to express our feelings, not always offend people, but at the same time, not being able to like keep your voice silent. I feel like a lot of times, yeah, especially think, today, yeah. we don't get to express ourselves, you know? So true, so true. Wow, but that's, that's what's up. Um, uh, they, yeah. Anything else, Mookie, you wanna add or you wanna comment or anything? Yeah, I would like to, yeah, I would like to add two more things on okay. top of the conversation with you guys. I don't wanna waste your time. No, go ahead, go ahead. So, cause I know we're running out of real time. Okay. So I need to add a little bit, few more things and then um, bouncing. Okay. So we need to focus on the prior future. Yes. Which is necessary for us human people because we're all human as one. And we all have to be successful as creators mm -hmm. as one teach every adolescent as knowledgeable people also because we are very knowledgeable people as well mm -hmm. as human beings. Because we're all human beings as one, and we have to step to the plate whether we don't like to say things or not, whether we don't like to say things that's coming out of our mouth or anything like that. So we just got to be careful, careful, careful mm -hmm. in how we do things with, with, with potentially, not intentionally. Well, well intentionally too. We just got to do more work the mm -hmm. more effort that you put into yourself. You have to give credit for the person that's doing it. You got to give credit for yourself. You got to give credit to Bronco producers, Bronco yes. herself. Yes. There's not too many people that wants to give credit to to, to as work as do to credit. Yeah. Mm. Well, Veronica, I want to give you credit for all the stuff you got going Thank on. You so Thank much. you for giving me a chance uh -huh. on your platform. I feel like, you know, this day and age, we're blessed to create platforms, right? And and, <laughs> and if you if you're really passionate you create a platform and you believe you believe in that platform and you push it out and like i said you know like you was talking about as creators i feel like a lot of times we kind of wait for people to co-sign or give us approval or something mm -hmm. instead of just trying i always yeah. say i'd yeah. rather try and fail than to just not try it at all exactly. right that's amazing so, yeah so, exactly yeah so that's a good point mookie awesome, awesome. So, thank you very much thank you mookie. so thank i'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out your guys out so I know y'all be continuing the show, the radio show, okay? Okay, yeah, thank baby. you. <laughs> thank you so much, Wookie, for calling. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> also, see, but also I just want to add real quickly, he was also a special co-host not too long ago. Uh, the, for the, the showcase. Yes, for yes. the showcase, which yeah. um, he hacked it, one of the amazing poets. So I know it's, it's all about networking and just yes. and, and just embracing each other and each other's creativity. Yeah. Creativity, let me get yeah. straight. All right, now back to the questions. Okay, okay. next thing I'm going to ask is, now tell us, I know I have to add this in here, you know, of course. Tell us about how the Power 105 found you guys, or Charlemagne the God, just let them know, and how they gave you a shout out. All right, so... Um, you know, especially I think yesterday or the day before, uh, Charlemagne the God and Little Duval, they dropped a video to their hit single, Black Men Don't Cheat. Oh, wow. So we, we, we brought that conversation onto our show, right? Because mm -hmm. we, we recognize that saying a statement like, Black Men Don't Cheat, mm. you know, some black men live by that, some don't, right? Uh, it's a general statement, but to me, we, we, we discuss how that's just something to, you know, speaking into existence. It's like saying, I'm going to be rich one day. 
I'm going to be a billionaire. Me being a big guy, I'm going to be fit and slim one day, right? You got to first start off with that idea. So we discussed that and we discussed how, like, you know, the way that society is set up and how society has ripped black and brown men out mm -hmm. of the, the homes of so many. And, and, and it's made us kind of not appreciate the family structure. And that's why you, you have song like Papa Was a Rolling Stone and things like that. But, like, you know, how cheating is bigger than just, you know, being monogamous with just one partner is also how it affects our home. Is that, is that the family dynamic behind it with right? kids? Be and because, you know, yeah. if you're out there cheating and you break up your home, okay, your relationship, you know, doesn't work out, but then how does that affect your kids? Exactly. It's, it's now, now there's not a father figure anymore. So we discuss how, like, black men need to just understand that, you know, cheating is bigger than just you out there chasing flesh. You got to figure out the impact it has on the homes, especially kids need black role models. Mm. Right? So Amen to that. So, so I, I took a clip of that conversation, and I tagged Charlemagne the God and Little Duval, and Charlemagne the God mm. really appreciated what I said. I love that. And he, 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 he posted on his live, which was a big deal. But oh. then he doubled down and brought it to the radio the next day and gave us a shout out. Which I, I know we're, we're going to admit you, maybe not now because of timing, but maybe we'll add it later on for editing purpose. We'll yeah. add that clip to that. You sure, can send that'll, it to that'll be great. And, that'll and be courtesy dope. of, of course, we're courtesy of them as well. Right? Yeah. These are friends. Of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you will. Yeah. I got to show love, yeah. man. I got to yeah, show yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's what's up when people, yeah. like, they really, you, just, you never know who's watching. I always say that in general, like, watching what your content's about yeah. and just keep pushing it out there. Man. Hey, you know? Another thing that I want people to realize is like you create a platform and you just think about the people you know watching it mm -hmm. but then you know once you put something out there on the internet you know I have people in Africa who hit me up asking wow. me for things people in Germany all different kind of places and it's it, we're not even that large of a platform yet but it's just like once you're in the internet people will find you that's the main thing I, I tell you to me honestly between us it's like the internet is such amazing es essential because yeah. it's like you never know who you're inspiring. You never know who's yeah. motivated by yeah. what you're doing. And yeah. just keep pushing, man. You know? it, it, it's funny, like, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, like, celebrities like Rihanna and stuff like that, but, you know, well-known people, sometimes I'm, I'm in their DM, not, like, creeping in DM, but, like, well, yeah, I mean. having conversations <laughs> about, you know, different <laughs> issues. Hey, you want to come to my show? Mm -hmm. and they'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I have the time, but I like I see what you guys are doing. Keep it up. That's and these wrong. this will be... You know, big name people. For instance, um, Spice Adams. He's a very he was he was a former NFL player, but now he does a lot of funny videos and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he, he and he was having a conversation with my little brother who's on the show, Aww. and he said, "I like what you guys are doing. Keep See. doing your thing, right?" And Spice Adams, he has like a million something followers and stuff like that. And like we don't know him personally, but when you put out a good product out there in the universe. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. But at the same time, you stay consistent. And That's then amazing. it kind of reaches out there. So. Of course, of course. So sometimes sometimes you at celebrities and you think they won't never connect to you. You'll be shocked. But you'll be yeah. shocked, yeah. especially if you're saying something of substance. Because so many times people tag them and be like, oh, you're not all that and negative. Mm. Or, or I love you, you're my baby daddy. Like they have to skim through <laughs> that kind of stuff. So but if you're having grown adult <laughs> conversations with them about, you know, Serious things or kind of stuff like that. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how many times I'll put a comment on Instagram and mm -hmm. a celebrity will like my comment or reply back. You see? And you never and, know. And that's yeah. the beauty of the internet. The internet connects you to so many people. You don't you don't need people's phone numbers no more. You can mm -hmm. literally connect <laughs> to a celebrity. I'm not saying it's always going to happen, but it happens from time to time. And that is true. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Before we continue, by the way, guys, we're watching also on live right now. Everybody's watching. We're on live. What's up, baby? Live here. What's up? What's up? Again, you guys could call in. Gary, what's up? I gave you guys the wrong number. Forgive me. I know it's crazy. The number to call in is 212-757-2536. Now I'm going to check the camera. 212-757-2536. <laughs> Two five three six guys, you call it now. We're until six o'clock, so call it for us. Uh, call it from amazing guest Marvin or Mookie or for myself or the camera right here, by the way, the cameraman. Yeah. All right, so next question out for you, of course, okay. is um, besides being um, which I found out you so we had a conversation privately, but I would yeah. like to talk about it. Um, besides being a radio personality, he also is an artist, yes. Yeah, so, so tell us more about that. Well, yeah. you know, uh I, I, I dig the hip hop thing. Mm -hmm. If if you listen to the uh, podcast, the intro is me rapping on the intro. Which I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So I mean, you know, it's like life. Hip hop is a, hip hop is a very 
tough sport. Like, cause I feel like it's, it's a young man's sport. Like, if no, you, no, I mean, I in, in, the, in the essence where it's just like if you're not able to like break in immediately, sometimes you lose your kind of flavor. So, sorry, someone. So, no, someone, was someone. Was like, oh, so um, <laughs> someone. Uh, uh, so. As I, I said, you know what, I'm really not going to be a hip-hop artist. That's what kind of made me turn into the radio mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I haven't, like, completely, like... Let it go, Let yet. it go. I, I still do the music, record, and stuff like that. Oh. It's an outlet, right? You want you need to have passion. Exactly. Sometimes it's poetry. Sometimes it's hip-hop. But that's one and the same. Exactly. But my question yeah. to you, like... Not, not to cut you, but my question to you is... Um, have you like just decided, you know, because I know you say you kind of was astray from it because like a certain look, or image, what you want to call it. But as uh, being in the radio now, has it kind of helped you improve? You say, you know what, why not just go for it? Like, you know. Well, you know what? I, I want to say shout out to you because you also inspire me. Because you welcome. Stop it. <laughs> nah, seriously. I'm not just saying that because she's here. Like, Aww, Vera has so much going on. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, you got your music, you singing, yeah. and then you got your book. I was just like, wow. I wrote a book as well. That mean, okay. Oh, yes. I wrote a book as well. And then awesome. also, um, it's like, I feel like if you listen to the universe, the universe will guide you. I think like, for instance, like the music thing, uh, two years back, mm -hmm. I was, um, I was like, you know what? My wife is busy. I, I'm at home. Let me uh, Uber, right? Just a little extra money, stuff like that. Hey. One day, I'm Ubering in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in Alpine, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And who requests me? Wyclef Jean. You kidding me? You know he has a house or a mansion yeah, up there. Yes, yeah, wife. exactly. Yeah. So wow. I didn't know it was Wyclef because, you know, they had their assistants book their stuff. Like, so that I pick them up. And then and Wyclef, <laughs> Wyclef hops into the car. No and, way. and he's just like, um, he's telling me he needs me to take him to Power 105. It's one word, right? Oh, and I was like, wow. I was like, cool. And Damn. He's, and he's just like, I was like, I know who you are. And he's just like, yeah, he's just, I was just like, I'm Haitian. And he's like, oh, you Haitian too? He started talking to me in Creole with small talk. He hops into nice. the front of the car mm. and starts playing unreleased music for me. Yo. And we're going through songs. Right now they're released now, but we're going Back through songs. Was, yeah. And I'm telling him, like, this song is good, and I write this song because of this and that. He's like, yo, you have a great ear. You should be an A&R. So I'm a young Haitian. I'm a young Haitian American. I love Wyclef that. is like a hero to me. So yeah, imagine me yeah. your hero, and y'all talking about music, and you're telling like you should be an A and R. So Great like it's it's little things where you don't plan things, but big things that happen like that. So I'm I'm a strong believer of believing the universe will point you to where I, you need to go. No, but I love that. I see how you just like you just had a conversation, and guys are like you relate to a lot, especially with music, and then you uh, like I said, you do a lot for community, by the way, which yeah. I was re reading about you, yeah. and um. You do a lot with the youth. I know you mentioned that you were talking before. We, yeah. So prior to that, you would do a lot with the youth and yeah. you would get them involved in things with you, with the radio show. And yeah. You know, you talk about different topics, but you want to get them braced with yeah. that because they're and, and I'm always, I, If anybody's out there has community service work that they're, they're, they're working on, please, you know, shout us a holler, views from the friend zone at gmail.com. We would love to get involved with more community service. Awesome. I always like to talk to the youth, give them direction because a lot of times, you know, Kids only see like certain things. Like if they can't be an entertainer mm -hmm. or a doctor or lawyer, they try to be like, "What am I going to be?" Kind of thing. Exactly. So you you give them different you know avenues, different examples to follow, and then you just have to just encourage them. Exactly. And it's like I said, you don't. It, it's unfortunate how we see role models in the industry, and they're like, "You have to be a certain way and everything." I love how like you said, you're genuine about it, and. And it, it's not about you, it's just the people that you embrace mm -hmm. in the community and mm -hmm. about the youth and that they are our next generation, they are our future. So, yeah. you know, we have to really focus more on that. You know, it's good to think about yourself at times, but you got to down the line and think about others. And exactly. that's, that's what's about. I think our biggest legacy is how we help uh, how we help people. Mm -hmm. like Amen. It's, it's, it's yeah. easy to focus on what you could do for yourself, but it's more of a blessing what you could do for others. And it comes what back it, to you. I always strong. I love that about karma, baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's why I, I, I try my best to support everyone, and it's Aww. not because. I'm looking to see what that person can do for me. I just feel like, you know what, when I see someone winning, someone doing their thing, I mm -hmm. feel like, you know what, that's someone I can reach out and touch to that's successful. Exactly. I get inspiration from that. You network that way. I just feel like, you know, your, your net worth is determined by your network. Thank right? you. Yes, you said it. We got this, right? Got this. Yeah. But I got to be quickly back to the music thing with, thing with you. Um, are you down the line going to release anything, new materials, music-wise, or... You know, something that we can hear of, you know, down the well, line. Well, you, you, you know what? It's just, um, it is definitely something that you get the itch for. And you kind of like, especially like I said, hip-hop hip kind of has ageism where it's just like, 
after a certain while, you kind of feel like, can I still be part of the game? But I just mm. feel like I'm definitely going to try try something. Okay. Try now, something. now I, have to, I just have a part of the question that's add to what the music thing. Who are you, like, you two or three top musical influences and why? Um, I have to add that. Well, Biggie, number one, right? Because, hey. you know. <laughs> I, I love him. I, I, love him. I was care. born in Brooklyn, but raised in Queens. But like always being a big guy, kind of smooth. Mm. Biggie was my inspiration. Like when Biggie passed, it hurt. It broke my heart. Even to this day, his music. I'm like, this guy was a legend. And, and that's the yeah. beautiful. You listen to Biggie now. We got a caller. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on, hold that You're on the air, caller. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Gary. Hey, Gary. How are you? Love? How you doing, Gary? All right, I'm doing good. How about you? Good, good. Can't complain. Chilling. <laughs> Hey, man. So what's your question, Gary? No, just how everything is. I'm here to support Vera G. Aww. Yeah, she, she's a dope person. Like, Aww, thank you. Even, even the first time we met her, people on my show was just like, yo, she's so dope. Thank you. Her spirit, even our pre-conversation before the show was just exciting. So it's good to be around good-spirited people. Thank you, man. Same here, man. How's your day going, Gary? Pretty good, man. How about you? I can't complain. I'm breathing. <laughs> yeah. I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. All right, well, thank you, Gary, for calling. Thank you so much. No problem. Bless you both. Thank Have a blessed day. Man. Thank you, thank you. You too, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, he, he cut him off. <laughs> He's like, all right, bye. Real quickly, guys, we got like a, wait, nine minutes left, eight minutes left. All right, so guys, eight minutes left. Real quick, if you want to call, just a hi, comment for me or Marvin or Mookie or Jason, whatever, 212-757-2536. That's it. All right, back to Biggie. Go ahead. I yes. got you. So Biggie, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm a New Yorker, you know, born in the 80s. Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas. My, I'm an 80s man my, myself, my biggest, <laughs> my biggest influence is Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas. Like, like music-wise, you know, um, I would say more so Nas as far as the storytelling, Biggie with his swag, and Jay-Z was just his, like, you know, know. ambition. It's the old school hip-hop. That, you really know, that's our... Uh, our first billionaire hip hop artist, mm. you know. He's he's a multi billionaire, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, Shh, yeah. But between him and his wife, they they got coins in the bank, they, right? They're so. retired. They still go back in the game, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just like those are my influences, and just like the, the art of storytelling. I love that. I you know? love that. That's cool. That's what's up. That's what That's we cool. need more to me in music, like you know, because we aren't reading as much as we used to. So we need sometimes the music to give us that intellectual influence. Exactly. That's why I like some of the young guys like J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Who oh, are man, poetic. That's the poetic in yes. there, you know what I mean? That's yes. that's the real shit to it, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, okay. But we got if that. I can flip it on you, go go ahead. some of your music. Oh, here we go. Oh, too. Jesus. Okay, real quick. Because you got a hip-hop <laughs> and a singing kind of vibe See, going. No, you know, I learned that from Drake. True story. Drake, really? Yeah, because you know Drake, he sings a little bit yeah. and does rap. So yeah. I was like, well, there's not that many female artists out there besides Nicki's doing it now. Yeah. But you know, who's this kind of as you can as independent artist, you don't see that. It's just only rap or just you yeah. know. And I want to change up the game, you know, especially as a plus size model. Yeah. Plus, like, listen, we, we, listen. You know, we were just talking about the show too as well. You gotta love yourself before anything. Well, quickly with that, um, I think intertwining it with rap and R and B is kind of a different blend to it, you know. And, yeah. If I could give a shout out, sure, there's an artist, Merce the Big Body Benz. Nice. She's she's a, a female hip hop artist who sings as well. She just dropped the EP the other day. Oh shit. She's dope. Okay. I think you should should look up Merce the Big Body Benz. Well, we'll, we'll talk after this. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, I already asked this question about the. Okay, then we have extra feedback. Oh, thank you. Again, guys, we got like what. A few more minutes, guys. Call in to what to seven five seven two five three six. I'm really energized, by the way. Just running around like crazy in New York City with guest Marvin from Views from the Friends Zone. Friend I got it right. Podcast, this time. yes, yes, yeah, yes. So, oh shit, we got oh, this. Don't worry. Listen, they got for cut now. Nah, okay, don't get me started with this. This is a slippery mode. Okay, so um. Oh, no, finish it. My yeah. son's calling me. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Anyway. All right, so um, do you actually have any upcoming events or anything in the future? Well, we're, we're, we're trying to put together like an appreciation podcast party right. tentatively August 31st. It's going to be somewhere in Brooklyn. We're trying to iron out the details. So once the details are ironed out, Thank I'll definitely you. let you know, invite you out oh, and stuff like that. I but, appreciate it. So that's like immediate, the immediate kind of thing we're trying to work on, you know? Okay. Okay, now I have another question out of this besides that. Um, what are your what is your future um and be hoping to say two two years from now to say, um, with your radio show? What do you want to expand? What do you want to do with it besides? Everything? Well, you know, 
us being a more online platform, I would love mm -hmm. to like you know put it out in the universe, even a bigger like a complex kind of uh, up rocks. You know, one of those bigger internet kind of companies mm -hmm. move on to do that. If God blesses us, maybe we'll do like TV as well. Ooh. I would love to hold down uh, an hour slot on Power 105. I'm going to oh. put that out there in the universe, right? You heard that show Power today. 105 gave us a shout out. <laughs> so hopefully God will be like, you know what? We'll start off doing Sundays, maybe yeah. around the same time we used to do our podcast show. And Never then, know, man. And see, see what's next. Okay. What about you? Me? Oh, see, he put on me now. I got um, to. I got to. Because you're an artist. You're an artist of personality really as well. All right, got it. All right, listen. I think overall, what I'm doing now is just like a foundation for some more things to come. Yeah. But um, in the future, I definitely want to be more, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur for the minute, right? Um, Because I'm, I'm trying to build an empire for everyone. Yeah. It's just to embrace people and, you know, what this platform this was about, it's about people who are out there, have amazing talent like yourself and Mookie and everybody mm -hmm. out there watching. Yeah. It's about just, there's no red tape, no politics, no favoritism. It's just mm -hmm. straight. If you have talent and you got something for the show, it's your time to shine. That's the model of the show. Go for it, man. Just mm -hmm. come through and, and show the world what you got, you know? And, and I, I don't want to sound yeah. corny, but yeah. hard work beats out talent every time, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Because talent, yeah. talent, I say that in there, talent, but. talent's not going to, Define you working hard. When you work hard, it's just like you can make up for a lack of talent. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, well, we're going to start ending soon, but what is your social media? Tell them where they can find you and yes. book you. Yep. So, at Views from the Friend Zone is on IG. Uh, we're also on um, YouTube, iTunes, Facebook. Facebook's our number one platform. Facebook, where you know we have like 50,000K views and on shows and stuff like that. That's our biggest platform, but at views from the friend zone <laughs> my personal ig is real talk malls and um shout out to my cast members on the podcast show you got at greedy gut at no one higher on ig and cliff brock banam oh, nice. so those are my my fellow co-hosts on the views from the friend zone podcast hello world yes um that's what's up that's what's up um so real quickly before we head out do you have one word of advice out there who's watching before? Real quickly, 212-757-2536. Seven, two, 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 seven, seven, two, Just add real quickly on the call. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Back to you. <laughs> so I, I want to take a time out for you to shout out oh. your upcoming at the New, New York oh. uh, Boys Cafe. Yes. Cafe. Okay, well. <laughs> so talk, you, you know, I got to leave it for you to vote, you know, big up I yourself.